Hi guys. You'll notice that the audio quality in this video is a lot better than the other videos because I've been on quite a journey with this microphone and I realized only two weeks ago after having it for several weeks and thinking that I was using it that actually I was using um, the wrong chord and it wasn't recording anything. <laughs> And so actually, all those things I thought I recorded with this microphone were just with my iPhone microphone and I'm just deaf and couldn't hear it. But hey, that's what happens, right? Welcome back to my bathroom. I'm so excited to have you here. It's been a long day. I had to run errands, I had to go to the grocery store, I had to do schoolwork, I had to have meetings, you know. But right now I just feel so relaxed listening to my new favorite artist, Jessie Ware. I like discovered her when I was in, well not discovered her, but I had been knowing about her existence, but I had never listened, really listened to her music. And then this summer, whenever What's Your Pleasure came out, I listened to it like once or twice. And I was like, oh, this is cool. But then when I went back to God, I was like, oh, I listened to What's Your Pleasure the last time I was here. I should listen to it, I listened to it. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with her whole catalog. I don't really like Glass House, but What's Your Pleasure, Tough Love, Devotion. Those are three amazing albums. Glass House is just okay, yeah. But these, especially Tough Love and What's Your Pleasure, well. As you can see, I've gotten a haircut and shaved since the last time we did this. I got my haircut in Boston, not in Boston, in Seattle by a Bostonian barber. I guess that's like a big thing. It was like written outside of the shop, like traditional Bostonian barber. I didn't know that Boston had a big barber culture. I've actually never been to Boston before. I had the opportunity to go about two years ago, but I didn't just because I was why did I say no? I think it was being cheap. No, it wasn't that expensive. It was like, I don't remember how much it was, but I, it wasn't that much, you know? Like, it wasn't like the most expensive trip ever. Like I could have afforded it with just a little determination, but I just didn't really wanna go. Um, it seems really racist. Also super Catholic, which is like two things I'm kind of like not super jazzed about. Racism and Catholicism. <laughs> That's how I would describe my feelings on racism. Not jazzed about it. <laughs> oh, I thought the music was my phone. Okay. Definitely not jazzed about racism. I don't think the routine, you guys. Right and all. No. One thing I like when I shave is that I can put my skincare products on my whole face. You know, the hair isn't blocking it so much. So that's always one nice upside to shaving. I think I'm gonna try to use the rest of this deep sea water cream tonight. I still got a few good squeezes in there, let me get rid of it. Can you guys hear the thunder outside? Sounds so nice. I love a nice soothing thunderstorm. Sometimes they're not soothing, but a lot of the times I think they are very soothing. Um, just gonna like turn the lights off, light a candle, 
I listen to some music and just chill. Maybe on a night like tonight, I would try to write something, but I was recording earlier and I feel a little spent. Oh, I normally do this first. My skincare routine has been all fucked up since I've been traveling. That tooth brushing session I just had, I'm not gonna do it over again because I'm gonna brush my teeth in the morning, but I feel like that tooth brushing session didn't really honor my body. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really honor my body. It didn't honor my teeth. I was just kind of just going at it. But I wasn't really connected in my body, really honoring that I was cleaning. You know, I had a job to do. The job was not just to ram the brush and stick into my mouth as many times as possible. The goal is to actually cleanse the mouth. Like Allah. Not Allah. <laughs> like Muhammad. <laughs> I think there's like a... I don't know, there's like a passage in the Quran or something where Muhammad is like, cleanse the mouth. Happy Ramadan. Shout out to everybody celebrating Ramadan. <sighs> but, yeah. I didn't feel great about that once it was done. It's okay. Alright, now let's go on. Nobody ever asked me this, but the fake haters inside my head are always asking, Nick, why do you wear cologne when you go to sleep? <laughs> And the answer is that the smell relaxes me. Yeah, I like to sleep in my cologne with music on or sometimes a podcast. I don't know. I don't know if crystals really do connect me to some sort of ancient spiritual power. Um, <laughs> but I mean, hey, like, I might as well give it a shot. I'm trying to take better care of like, you know, all my skin. Okay, now. Adios, aloha. No. Adios, avoir, aloha, chao.